Up till this point in the law, many who own visions have received them under varying circumstances. The most common occurrence is that they were either doing something related to their dreams or experienced something that tempered their resolve. This has happened with many characters and the idea that ambitions directly lead to a vision comes from this repeating pattern. But so far, this conclusion has only been based on this pattern. However, something in Yan Fei's law may be able to validate this idea that a vision is the crystallized version of an individual's dreams, desires, and ambition. So what is this proof and is it even reliable? Before we get into that, if you want to see more Genshin Impact content, do consider subscribing to the channel. Let me first give you a brief introduction into Yan Fei, as I started off wanting to do a video about her but ended up somewhere else entirely. In the land of contracts, the ability to navigate the many rules and agreements is a valuable skill. Despite most in Liyue growing up around businesses and commerce, occasionally, disagreements do happen. During such incidents, people like Yan Fei are extremely valued. You see, Yan Fei is functionally a lawyer. She is well versed in the many laws of Li Yue and is often called upon to help mediate and navigate through the vast oceans of legal jargon. With her seemingly photographic memory, she is able to recall and account most of the law in Li Yue to the letter. Many from various backgrounds actually hold her in high regard, with even Ning Guang relying on her expertise when it comes to identifying legal loopholes that can be exploited by businesses. This isn't the only interesting thing about her though, as she is actually of Adepti heritage. You see, her father is an illuminated beast, while her mother is a normal mortal human. So Yanfei is functionally half Adepti. What's interesting is that the Adepti generally refers to a group of enlightened beings. I covered the details of this in another video, but Yanfei being described as an Adepti is rather odd. Unless she has achieved the same level of enlightenment those who call themselves Adepti have achieved. But that is neither here nor there. While Yanfei does enjoy being a lawyer or legal consultant, her dream is really for people, herself included, to just live as freely and honestly as they can without breaking the rules. Despite quite a lot of interesting things about her, unfortunately, it isn't Yanfei herself that we are actually interested in, but rather an item she has in her possession. You see, one of the most prized possessions Yanfei owns is a balancing skill that her father gifted to her. Her father had received this gift from Rex Lapis himself and eventually passed it on to her. The balance is said to have the ability to measure the value of all things by comparing one object to another. Yanfei mentions that it works by comparing the inherent value of an object against another and if the scale is balanced, then the value of both objects are equal. The only caveat is that it can only show the original value of the object, meaning if the price of an object fluctuated over time, the scale would not pick up on this and would just make use of its original value or price. Yanfei often uses this scale to gauge the value of objects she comes across and often uses Mora as a default comparison item. This way, she can gauge how other objects compare to each other in terms of worth. She often likes using this balance as a way to see the value of things and how they change throughout time. Since the skill only captures the original price, a rather rare object found today may appear to be cheap in the past as perhaps it was abundantly found long ago. The weirdest thing she has ever weighed, however, and finally getting to the topic of the video, is a vision. Now, when she weighed her own vision, no amount of mora would tip the balance and the vision remained the heavier object. She kept adding more and more mora, but the vision remained the more valuable thing and the scale didn't budge. Eventually, Yanfei got frustrated and snatched from her waist a set of handwritten legal notations which were quite heavy and only then did the vision balance out evenly with this object. Now I'm sure you're thinking by now, what in the world has this got to do with proving visions are sourced from ambitions and goals? Doesn't this just mean that the legal notations she used are just heavier objects and that's the end of the story? Well, if you choose to believe that the balancing scale really can measure the value of all things, then it likely knows the value of visions, or rather the true value of visions. Visions being speculated to be crystallized ambition means that no amount of mora Yanfei was adding would have tipped the balance. But when she placed the legal notations, for some reason, it balanced out. Why? Well, I think this is the proof itself. 
If the vision contains all the hopes, dreams, and ambitions Yan Fei has, only something of equal abstract value can counterbalance it. That's why no amount of Mora could do this, as it is not what Yan Fei values or is passionate about. Instead, only when she plays her handwritten legal notations, something that no doubt took her a large amount of time to do, as well as represents her true interest, does the scale balance out. If the steelyard balance truly is magical, then perhaps it was able to relate the abstract feelings between these two objects, and actually show that the vision is of the same value as her dreams. This means that the crystallized vision or the ambitions that she has were equal to the objects that represented these dreams and ambition. Now, of course, this would require you to accept that this scale is truly magical, and truth be told, we just don't honestly know. We can just assume this scale doesn't actually work, but the fact that it was mentioned in her law and seems to be something she values might indicate its legitimacy. Plus, it does seem to work with a lot of other objects. Perhaps Rex Lapis intentionally passed this to Yanfei's father, knowing it might help him someday. Maybe sometime in the past, Yanfei's father had to choose between his duty as an adepti and his family, and this scale perhaps helped him realize what was truly valuable. There aren't that many cross-species families that we actually know of, so perhaps this gift was a way to remind Yanfei's father of what was truly important. But again, we just don't know. And it's really up to you if you want to believe this little story. One final piece of evidence is that while most others have a vision story that details how each of them got their vision, in Yanfei's case, it only mentions that she has one, and the reason is seemingly because of the weight of her principles, indicating that her belief is slightly tied to the manifestation of her vision. And even in that story, there are hints to weights and balances. So perhaps there might be some truth to the idea that the visions really are created from people's dreams, ambitions, and goals. But that does it for this video. If you want to see more Genshin Impact content, do consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. As usual, have a nice day.